instructor. I teach teens and adults. And today we're going to talk about what you need to do and what you need to improve in. If you're just getting notifications, tell your friends that I'm live and we're getting ready to have a nice live session. Um, I'm going to let you know what you should expect in Drive 2. I'm going to break it down by roots. I'm going to break it down by things you need to know. First of all, I want to say hi. I'm the funny guy. Um, before you embark on Drive 2, there's some things you really need to know to help you be successful. Uh, driving for an extended period of time can be challenging at times. And at many times you get overwhelmed and you're not sure what to do. But I'm going to guide you through the steps because I'm an experienced person. Preparation is extremely important. For drive one, you're going to be very overwhelmed. You're not really going to understand what to do. But over time, if you prepare, and if you prepare your mind, you prepare your vehicle, you will become a better driver. How do you prepare your vehicle? You make sure you have proper windshield wipers. It's raining right now. You make sure your tires are in really good shape. Why? Hey, how are you? You make sure that your vehicle is ready for adverse weather conditions. Your tires are the most important thing to prepare you for good driving. And a lot of times, instructors just don't take the time to go over how to put gasoline in the car. There's a little arrow on your dashboard in a gas tank. If it's pointing to the right, the arrow will be to the right and the gas tank is on the right. If it's pointing to the left, then the arrow will be on the left and the gas tank is on the left. Safety is always first. If this is bringing you value, uh, how do I get my permit? Where do I start? Well, it depends on how old you are. If you're between 14, 9 and about 17, you're going to be enrolled in a segment one driver's education program where you're going to learn the basic rules of the road. You're going to learn about pavement markings. You're going to learn about how do you start, stop, and turn the vehicle. Then after that, you will be tested. You're going to have a knowledge test. It could be 85 questions. It could be 100 questions. Then you got to pass your test. Then the state certified driving company will submit this information to the state. It could take two weeks, three weeks, and in the mail or digital, you will get a driver says certificate. Then you go to Secretary of State, you take your vision test, and then you're going to get your level one permit. That is really important. Can you make a video on stuff you need to know about the car? 100%. Um, you let me know what you need me to do, and of course I'll make it. If this is bringing you value, drop a like. I'm trying to get 3,000 likes tonight. That's my goal. Uh, I will be going live, answering your questions. The one thing you need to have in your car is jumper cables because your car could get, uh, your battery could die. So you want to have jumper cables. This allows you to connect your battery to another battery and get a boost to start it. You should also have a can of fix a flat This is a substance you can put into your tire. It will create an inside seal, and then it will actually inflate your tire. Uh, perhaps some basic set of hand tools, some wrenches, a screwdriver, definitely a flashlight. Those are some of the things you need. I love the questions. Keep the questions coming. Is the permit test just a test, or is the driving course as well? The permit test is just that. It's a permit test. Um, right around the fourth to fifth drive, you should understand how to make right turns, make left turns, uh, how to park, and usually at the end of the drive, you will take a test to see if you meet all those standards. Um, it varies from state to state or province to province. Here in the United States, you're usually between 15 and 17 years old. Uh, in other countries, you might have to be 18 or 21 years old. So there are a lot of UK brothers and sisters out there. They have a more involved test than we do. So it varies. <clears throat> what stuff do you need to know about the car to practice? Um, where your windshield wipers are. Where your blinker is. 
Um, you need to know about your base, basic instrument panel, your speedometer, your odometer, how to turn on your heat, how to turn on your air conditioning, um, how to turn on the emergency flashers. Good questions. I like those. Keep those coming. You definitely need to know where the buttons are because a lot of cars have buttons or um, knobs that you have to turn on and off. Uh, so that's important. Keep the questions coming. That Those are important. Also, you want to familiarize yourself with routes, um, you know, to your house, to school, to your house, to your grandparents' house, uh, to your house, to the mall. Is it better to do the behind the wheel to get your license or go to the DMV? It depends on how fast you want your license. Um, if you want your license quickly and you're under 18, I would say take a driver's ed course, right? If you're 17 and a half or 18, it might be easier for you to go to the DMV get your um do your test drive for 30 days and then take your road test good questions my goal is 3,000 likes let's keep those questions coming what is your first step in getting your permit as soon as you can 15 and a half okay you're 15 and a half i will go ahead and roll in a driver's education program remember in the summertime it's very busy uh most states limited to 36 students so you got to get enrolled in the program it's august so it could be september or october you need to call around into your area, see what is open, and then lock in for that September or October class. It's going to take about uh, six weeks for you to get your permit. Then you're going to have to drive and then take a level two. What's up? How you doing? Everything's good. I'm doing good. Do you have any tips on taking a permit test? You need to work on good speed control. You need to practice making correct right turns in the nearest lane, turning hand over hand in, hand over hand out. You need to practice making left turns. Left turns are very difficult for beginners because they turn in the wrong lane. And if you go in the wrong lane and cause an athlete accident, you will fail. You need to practice coming up to the stop line and stopping and look to your right. Is there a sign that says no turn on red? A lot of beginners tend to miss that and they make a right turn on red automatic failure. You need to work on your parallel parking maneuvers. Being able to parallel park within four to five turns of the steering wheel. Uh, do you always turn? Yes, you always turn into the nearest lane. Great question. Um, keep asking questions. Can they fail you on hour eight practice driving? As long as you're not doing any dangerous maneuvers, you should be fine. A dangerous maneuver would be you cutting off someone, you making a lane change and not being aware who's behind you, you running lights, um, you putting yourself <clears throat> and your tester or other people in a dangerous situation. I love the questions. Um, you have trouble seeing the stop signs, then you might need to get glasses or have an eye examination. Make sure your seat is properly elevated. I'm tall, like 6'5", so I have my seat low. If you're shorter, you got to have the seat up. It's going to the register. It's going to get your registration permit and license. They will make you... It depends on the city. Some actual DMVs do the testing at the center. You need to bring your car there. They may have you turn on your left blinker, your right blinker. Uh, they may have you turn on your headlights. You might have to ask questions. They might ask you questions about instrument panel, and then you might have to do some parking maneuvers in the lot. Then they take you out onto the road. How do you know when you can't turn in some roads? Most beginning drivers go in too wide, and then you go in the wrong lane, or they overturn, and then you go over the curb. So you want to go into your turn under 20 miles an hour. Squeeze your brakes, go in slow. How do you know when you can go or not? Well, you want to stop. Every intersection, treat it like a crosswalk. You want to yield. You want to look left, right, left. Then you yield. If clear of cars and pedestrians, then you go. Keep the questions coming. I love them. Keep those likes coming. Keep asking questions. I'm your state certified instructor. I teach teens and adults. Ask these questions. I love it. Also, you want to maintain study speed. A lot of beginning drivers have a difficult time keeping their speed up. Most of the time, they drive under speed. Under speed is the speed limit is 45, you're at 30. You're at 35. Also, on your road test, if you go under speed, they could fail you because you are considered a hazard. 
Do you have to know how to read good? You should know because on the knowledge test, they're going to ask you questions about pavement markings, right of way, four-way stops, uh, emergency situations. So you want to practice. Okay, I have some Kahoota quizzes. If you need to say I'm moving to September 25th, is that enough time to get my permit? It is if you can roll in driver's ed uh, quick enough. Good question. I feel I'm ready to take my road test. What should the next steps be? Practice in your neighborhood. Making right turns, making left turns, parallel parking, going to four-way stops, going through roundabouts. Love the question. Keep it going. My uh, godmother said the book barely had questions. This is true. They give you like 15 to 20 questions, whatever driver must know. You can look through those, but they're up to 10 different versions of questions. Keep those coming. But those basic questions will give you general knowledge. Keep those likes coming. How can you improve in turns? Go in slower into the turn. If your turns are bad, go into your school parking lot. Go up the aisles, down the aisles. Can you post a video on how to drive in a roundabout? Yes, I will definitely do that. Uh, I have some you have to look through the content, but I will definitely post some updated videos. What is the best advice for the driver's test? Uh, have good speed control. Know about four-way stops. Know how to reverse parallel park. Know how to make a protected left turn. Know how to make a right turn. Know how to merge on the expressway. I love it. Keep those questions coming. I uh, Have you ever... Uh, I had you last year, and you are, thank you so much. That means a lot to me. Thank you for the love and support. Can you drive five under? That's okay, but your road tester might start really looking at your speed. And if you're driving five under, they might consider uh, this person is not ready. Tips for braking smoothly. Squeeze the brake. Use the ball of your foot. If you punch the brake, you're going to slam the car. Use the ball of your foot. Do they do? Yes, some instructors do emergency stops. You see some trending on the channel, but you need to know how to emergency stop. Why? Because an animal could come out. What is the proper way to adjust the side mirrors? You look straight ahead, you bring the mirror in to see the side of the door, you bring the right side mirror in to see the side of the door. You, When you're driving, you should be able to use your eyes just like I'm looking right now so you can see. Great job. Hello, how are you? What's going on? Everything's good. Keep those questions coming. My goal is 4,000 likes. I'm at 3,200. If I hit, uh, yes, if you hit a curb or hit a car, automatic failure. If you run a light, automatic failure. Tips on parallel parking. You have to practice in your neighborhood. You can set up some cones in your neighborhood. You practice squaring the car, reversing it at an angle. Keep those questions coming. I have my driving test Thursday. Look at my content. I have some practice. Driver said tutorials on there where we actually went to a driver's head course we practiced and then my student passed it i'm so happy uh, i failed the test last saturday because i don't run through yellow lights you have to squeeze your brakes the best advice if you can slow down and stop in three seconds 1001 1002 1003 you should stop thank you so much I appreciate you watching my content, and I do this for you. I want to continue to work hard. It's, a, it's driving easy. It depends on if you have good depth perception. Some of my drivers were on drive two today. They were stopping really late, almost hitting a car. Some were stopping really early. As you get better, you will learn how to become a better driver, but you have to have a good instructor who won't yell, who's patient, who's kind, who will help you grow. Do you have to stop at a yield sign? You want to slow down and look left and right. Keep asking questions. Is it behind the wheel one week long? It depends on the schedule. Most driver's ed classes have 36 students, 25 students. For me, I have 20 students. It takes about five and a half weeks and I get them done, right? Keep asking those questions. I love it. Uh, my goal is 4,000 likes. Any tips on manual? Yes. You have to practice in your neighborhood. You want to start the car up, you have to push the clutch in to start the car, then I would start practicing slowly in your neighborhood, practicing in the parking lot, slowly putting the car in the first gear, you got to push the clutch in, then you give it a little gas and slowly let the clutch up. I love it. I would do some content on the manuals. It's the push-pull method good. Either method, look, your road testers 
don't care how you turn the wheel. They want to see if you're in control. You can't drive with your knee. You have to have both hands on the wheel. It could be hand to hand, hand over hand. It takes about four weeks to be able to get hours enough. Yes, uh, your parents have cars tips on fighting the first DUI. Uh, you need to get a good lawyer. And uh, they're going to suspend your license. You're going to be put in a pool of high-risk drivers. Good question. Would you make a video on manual drivers? Yes, I will get a manual and do that. I'm trying with my parents to make the run through the yellow. You have to learn trying not to run through the yellow because that's going to put you in danger. My sister can t get told now, yes, you want to work on that. Is it normal to practice driving for a year? Yes. Wherever you feel comfortable. It could be 30 days. It could be six months. When you're ready to take your test, take your test. Uh, can you do content on getting your, yes, temps. I will do that. Why turns? You got to slow down before you go into the turn. How do you control a heavy foot? I would wear thin sole shoes. Crocs are good. Commerce are good. Thick sole shoes, you won't have enough uh, control. Do you feel you have to have both hands on the wheel? Yes. because No. When you're backing up, you can put your right arm on your seat because that'll turn your body. You got to look out your back window. Is the driving test easy? If you prepare, if you speed, you run a light, you don't check your blind spot, you could end up getting enough points and almost failing. If you bump into a curb or run a light, automatic failure. Keep going. I like the questions. I'm here for you. Keep asking those questions. Tell your friends I'm on. We're doing great. Is there a problem with going too slow? Yes and no. If you go too slow, you could hold up the flow of the traffic. Any attempts are entering the highway. Accelerate on that ramp. Get up to about 45 or 50. Push the gas and accelerate. If you don't practice merging, your road tester will feel like this person doesn't know how to drive. I have a problem with staying in my lane. Look ahead and aim high. Parallel parking. You have to practice in your neighborhood. Practice so it's consistent. My driver's insurance was ag uh, aggressive. They're a pretty good company. Shop around for the best price. Uh, when do you start parking? Um, you used to park and brake to prevent your car from rolling downhill. Uh, hey, I'm, I'm going to keep pushing. I'm trying to get as many as possible. Tips for parking. Go to a downtown area early in the morning. You can practice stall parking where you pull into a spot. Angle parking at an angle. And then you can really practice those fundamentals. Tips on maintaining speed. You want to hold your foot on the gas. Don't press it so hard. What's up, Jada? How you doing? Right? Keep it up. Keep the questions. Uh, I need to pass my written test. I do have some questions on there. How many points can you lose? Upwards of 20, 25. Anything over 15 points, you're probably making serious faults. Uh, cutting your turn too short. Going in the wrong lane. You want to continue to work hard. Uh, do you recommend for passing the permit test? Looking at my content. I'm a state certified driving instructor. I teach teens and adults. I teach to pass the road test. Can you actually uh, break can you accidentally break someone? Yes, you can actually break someone. Can I drive with both hands? Can I drive with both of my feet? Uh, I don't know what that means. I'm taking my driver's test tomorrow. Work on your speed control. Work on your lane positioning. Keep it up. Let's keep going. These questions are popping in. Um, taking my road test in two weeks at the place you instructed. They are pretty good. They're good people. Uh, practice your maneuverability. Practice making right turns and left turns, having good speed control. How do you switch lanes properly? Mirror, turn signal, blind spot, accelerate through the lane change. Uh, hey, what's up, Amber? A lot of beginning drivers put their foot on the brake. It's for mid test hard. Yes, if you don't practice to the rules, good speed control, not running lights, working on your parking, accelerating on the ramp to the freeway. If you're kind of a nervous driver, you'll end up making mistakes and almost failing. So it is easy, but you have to practice. Should I tell them my knees out? Not sure. Do you recommend uh, two feet driving? No, you want to drive with your right foot only unless you're driving a manual. You put your left foot to the dead pedal. I love the question. Hey, let's try to get to 10,000 likes. We're blowing it up. Let's keep going. Um, you want to put your left foot to the dead pedal to the left and you pivot your right foot between the gas and brake. Keep going. 
Uh, some driving instructors are extremely strict. It depends on where you go. If I can't wait to get my G2 graduated license in Canada, Canada doesn't play. I've had a lot of students from Canada. you got to be on point. What is the most common mistake? Um, people don't stop at four-way stops. They do rolling stops. Uh, they don't merge on the freeway properly. They turn in the wrong lane. Great question. What is the most important thing when taking your driving test? Relaxing, having good confidence, having great speed control. Can you go a little bit over the limit? I would say right at the limit. Okay? Four-way stops. My mom won't let me practice. You, you got to try to find a cousin, someone who can trust. Getting on the highway, you got to be able to merge on. Yeah, you got to make sure you're well-rested. Awesome. Uh, when entering the highway from the acceleration lane, you do not want to yield unless a truck or a car is in front of you. Traffic on the expressway already has to right away. I need some help in Houston. Pass the RIN test. Scared to do the road test. I have some content specifically on the road test. Um, you need to find a friend or relative or your bestie who will let you practice starting neighborhoods, making really crispy right turns, really crispy left turns. Practice merging out onto the main thoroughfare. Try to find a roundabout if they have any in Texas. Is the golf cart a good learning? It is, but you really need an automobile. A golf cart is good, but you won't be driving a golf cart on your test. Okay, how do you prevent tunnel vision? You want to relax. You want to scan. You want to look left, right. If you just focus straight ahead, you're going to have tunnel vision, right? I drive along with my permit. No one knows. You really don't want to do that. You want to make sure you're properly comfortable. I finished my driver's head course. Hey, awesome. Keep it up. Is it okay to look, look back? Yeah, you want to check your mirror. You want to have your inside mirror properly adjusted. What did they do in test two? Uh, they work on crash avoidance, defensive driving. Uh, you've been driving for three months. You have 30 hours. So students come back and we talk about how to be a better defensive driver. When do you when do you do a U-turn? You want to turn in the nearest lane? I was tough. I still am confused about things. Ask questions. I'm here. What is the best thing to do when you're young during your road test? Well, you got to practice. You, if you are take driver's ed early, then you're going to have to practice. Driving at night, it is difficult because you get a lot of reflections, and it's harder on your eyes, and it's hard to see. The best way to do a three-point turnaround, I would practice pulling into a driveway, reversing back, practice, keep up the questions. We're, um, let's get to 10K, baby. We are at 9,007. Hey, what is up? How you doing? Are the road tests easier for us? Yes. Um, I prepare my students for the road test, really making good right turns, good left turns, parallel parking, uh, merging on expressway. I prepare you. Then I have resources to get you. I have anxiety thinking about driving. Um, look at my content. Leave some questions. I will definitely help you. Thank you. I'm glad I helped you. I heard the blue light glasses. Yeah, some people have really... Um, Sensitive eyes. I have some blue uh, light glasses for gaming, and I wear some of those when I do a newscast. Oh, my God. Hey, how are you doing? What's going on? Okay, what do you do when your second time driver segment one? Your second driver should be driving in neighborhoods, working on your speed control, making 12 right turns, 12 left turns. How do I make better right turns? Reduce your speed, squeeze your brake, and turn in hand over hand in and accelerate out ask some other questions i'm here for you is passing the shoulder allowed in some cases if there's a solid line no okay so you got to really be careful of that because technically in some states if you cross the solid line it could be a ticket how do i break smoothly you want to start using the ball of your foot how to make uh tight turns you want to turn a little bit early but if you overturn you're going to go over the curb and that could be a minus or you could crash. Do I do the road test? I have resources. I do prepare for the road test. How to make good turns. Have trouble turns. Go in slower. Under 25 miles an hour. Thank you for the plus one. What's up? What's up? I love it. Keep it going. Times three, baby. Let's go. Let's go. I love it. How do you know when your car goes first? The first car there is the first car to leave. 
and it, the car on the right always has the, the right of way. If you're not sure, then wave that person through. When do you use hand-to-hand -hand technique, making right turns, reverse parallel parking? Keep those questions coming. How do I get less nervous in the driver's seat next to the instructor? Well, talk to your instructor. Have that communication. Uh, practice parallel parking. Go into your neighborhood. Find a car in your neighborhood. Reverse back slow. Halfway, turn the wheel all the way to the right. Also, I have some really hot trending videos on reverse parallel parking, and I will make some more. Is parallel parking easy without a reverse camera? Yes. The best reverse camera are your beautiful eyes. You have to look over your right shoulder. Uh, I can't wait uh, to buy my driver. Yeah, yeah, definitely. You've got to keep working on, keep working on practicing good parallel parking, good fundamentals. Can you go over things that would be an automatic fail? Yes, I'll give you five. One, going over the speed limit. Hello, Junior. Number two, hitting an object. Number three, um, you running a light. Number four, you make a dangerous maneuver. And number five, going too slow. Any tips for getting on the expressway? You want to get up into the acceleration lane and accelerate down the ramp going 20, 25, 30, 35. So you want to continue to work hard. Thank you for the support. I do appreciate you. Uh, do you have any parking videos? I do. I have some stall parking, angle parking, reverse parallel parking. You tell me what you want. You message me. You you follow me. I will make more content. You tell me what you want. Do you rec? Um, hold on. Uh, what tips you starting on the freeway? Gra get into the middle lane. Don't get to the left because they go really fast. Don't get in the right lane because you'll get cut off by a semi truck. Very scary. When should you start driving on the freeway? Right around the fifth drive, the fourth drive. Hey, what's going on? How are you? Drop those hearts, drop those likes. Uh, tips on parallel parking on the road test, half cones. Gradually get yourself ready and practice. You got to have your mom help you, your dad help you, your bestie help you, right? I'm like your driver's ed uncle, so I love helping you grow, helping you get better. Tips on merging on the expressway. You want to get on that ramp and gradually pick up speed and accelerate down that lane and get out to the first lane. A lot of beginners lift their foot, you start losing speed, and you don't do well. Um, I get off the accelerator lane. Is it okay to go over speed a little bit? You want to? You might go over a little bit, but you want to lift your foot. Um, hey, how are you? Thank you. Keep asking questions. I'm here for you. I'm trying to get to 14K. I'm at 13.5. If this is bringing you value, drop a heart, drop a like. Uh, do we drive on the freeway? And driver said, yes, you do. Right around the fourth, fifth, or sixth drive. Uh, why don't I improve so much? It takes time to gradually. Is it illegal to speed one or two over the limit? As an instructor, I have to say you need to drive at the speed limit. <laughs> Keep asking, how do you have control over the wheel and pedal? A lot of beginners stare down at their foot. I teach you to look ahead. Uh, wear thin sole shoes so you can feel the pedal. What do you do when an ambulance is coming? You pull over to the side of the road to the right. Also, that is automatic failure if you don't pull over to the side of the road to the right. Or a funeral procession. Great job. Is it okay to turn right on red? You have to stop. S-T-O-P. You stop first. You look left. You look right. When it's clear... Then you go, remember, your light is red. The intersection cross is green, like my shirt. So you have to stop and look. If you just go out in front of a car, automatic failure. Yes, I do know how to drive a stick shift. I've driven uh, several exotic sport cars before, right? What is a major tip? I uh, have good speed control. Turn in the nearest lane. Have complete stops, no rolling stops. Should you ever pass a yellow light? If you can stop in three seconds, you should. If you enter the intersection and it just turned yellow, proceed with caution. Keep asking those questions. I love it. We're doing great. I really appreciate you guys. What can I do to borrow my driver's seat? You might have to talk to the driver's seat company. They vary from person to person. Okay? Is it... Is an unrestricted right turn stop stop light? You always have to stop first and look. 
What are some good tips for right turns? Squeeze your brakes early, control your speed, get into the lane early, you stop, you look. If you're making a right, you have to stop and look left, right, left, and when it's clear, you go into the nearest lane. The left turn is a little bit more tricky because you have oncoming traffic. You need to let traffic go by, get up to the middle, then you look, if it's clear, you turn into the nearest lane by the double yellow. The thunder is scary. It's no joke. I want to say thank you. I appreciate you. Thank you for the support. Thank you for the love. Look at my content. I love you guys, and I'm going to go live a lot more. Thank you. You're awesome. I love you. Bye.